All right, Shalom, Shalom. We'll start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kudash, a double honor to our Apostle Ezra Millstone, and Shalom, Wakasa, Laha Bakyar, which is peace and mercy to the elect. Uh, throughout the four corners, wave may be. I'm the brother of Mar from the branch of GMS Cleveland. I'll come back at you another video. Lord, when it's be edifying. Um, and this is the topic, man, that uh, I'm going to go into, make it brief, Lord willing. Uh, just concerning uh, how America is mentioned in the Bible. And I will say this just for the record. The Lord has to give you faith and to uh, to believe that and to understand that. Because you, you'll have scoffers like Vocab because this is the guy. He came up to our camp yesterday. All right. And uh, he actually uh, visited us uh, when we went down there to visit the brothers down there at Columbus as well. I kept asking him, where is America mentioned in the Bible? All right. So, um. This uh, I believe I did a, a recent video concerning this topic, but I'm going to go into it again if I didn't. But either way, I'm going to prove it yet again. So America is mentioned in the Bible. All right. Because I also mentioned that you, um, uh, uh, Yahweh Shah will be returning. If he's, if Yahweh Shah will be returning, which he will, when the word Italy calls Jesus, I said, what kingdom will he return in? So with that being said, you have to, uh, understand certain uh, uh certain things man all right so matter of fact let me see just let me see this recently man let me see did i uh, did i recently do a video on this hold on let me check man nope yeah so yeah let me uh let me let me go into it yep <laughs> um this is the book of revelation chapter 17 uh verse 1 and I'm gonna kind of breeze through this, um, uh, this less, this, uh, this, 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 uh, um, you know, chapter because elders, you know, the apostles and elders already did lessons on this. So I'm gonna, like I said, kind of sum it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring out an article or two just to kind of give the backdrop and some historical information and showing how it biblically links up with the scriptures. It's a Revelation 17 and 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven veils, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. The seven it's the seven angels, the seven angels are the seven archangels, right? You know what I'm saying? He's talking to John the Revelator. He says he's going to show you the judgment uh that he that the Heavenly Father uh will give unto the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. The whore is referring to America. America, aka Babylon the Great, man. All right, and not the ancient Babylon. All right, and then the waters. I'm going to get into that as well. The 15 verse will break down what the waters is. All right, so which I'll just say the waters are people, people play people, people tongues and people and tongues. All right, and nations. So um, verse two it says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Now, the kings of the earth are the other ruling uh, countries, you know what I'm saying, such as, you know, certain members of NATO, you know what I'm saying, EU, um, uh, uh, certain other countries that are not even a part of NATO and EU. But they committed fornication. Uh, when you look at that word fornication, it's going to say idolatry, you know what I'm saying? So th all these countries... They push idolatry in some way, shape, fashion, or form. All right. And they blaspheme Yahweh by Shem man. All right. So it says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Right. The idolatry. It says, uh, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. All right. The, the people have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. All right. The wine is talking about what is philosophies that America and these uh, countries that are linked with this uh beast uh pushes man all right and this scripture right here i'm just gonna show you and it shows you uh how our people are uh, and not just our people but the uh the world in general are, are drunk off that wine so it says isaiah 29 and 9 it says stay yourselves and wonder cry ye out and cry they are drunken but not with wine they stagger but not with strong drink man so the, the them being drunken all right is not it's not it's not physical wine man they're drunken with the the ideologies the ways and the the uh, customs and traditions which america prop promotes man and these other countries that are linked with this place man 
Like I said, especially our people, man, they think they're so-called black, Latino, Native American, all these other bywords and proverbs. You are not. You know what I'm saying? They believe in these Christmas, I mean, these uh, holidays, which holiday go back to Holy Day, these wicked holy days that Esau Edom has our people uh, celebrating. This has nothing to do with them and their heritage, man. But they're they're drunken, but not with wine. It's it's that it's that 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 uh that, that like I said the philosophies, man. So going that going back, you know, you know, like I said we breezing through it. You know, what I'm saying, brother, should be familiar with it. It says um, it says um. So he, verse three. So he carried me away in, in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. It's the woman, like I said, once again represents America. All right, the beast is what NATO and the EU, man. All right, full of names, and it says the reason why it says scarlet color. Scarlet is scarlet is, 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 is derivative of red, and it's associated with sin. All right, and not only that, but it's also a uh, a color. All right, uh, and that color gets produced by some type of, I think, uh, insect. And when you look up the history, but um, uh, scarlet and purple was was used in the ancient world uh, by the uh, by the arist uh, not the aristocrats, but the upper class, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the well, you can say the aristocrats, but the upper class and the people that that have wealth and money, symbolizing the, the the wealth and money and the riches that this place has, man. It says, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, which I broke down already. Purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness and, and her fornication. All right, like I said, because this place is looked at as what the golden city. And that's what the scriptures uh, call it. Because when you actually look at America, man, compared to these other areas around the earth, man, America is balling out of control, man. The average person here... The broke person, like you know, even like say us that don't don't have money, you know, you're working a dead end job, but you you still have a place to sleep. You have lights and uh, flat screen TVs. You have a, a small apartment. You might even have a car. You know what I'm saying? That the av you 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 compared to the average person in these third world countries, you consider rich to them, man. So the average person in America has more than uh more than they the hearts desire. Even even Jake, even us. You know what I'm saying? Because how this place is set up, even broke people still live better than the average person around the world, or, or these third world countries, should I say, man? Even certain places, you know what I'm saying, like Brazil and all these places, the American dollar trumps um, those other uh, uh, currencies. For instance, if you are broke as a broke ass person in America, you can go over in these other places, all right, in the countries like Brazil and other places, and you can. Uh, what you can uh, uh convert that dollar over let's say you have you have you five hundred dollars over here and you you know you, you know you go over there and you, you can convert that and you'll be balling all right so anyway when it says having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and, of, and filthiness of a fornication why because everything that this place promotes is against y'all by shim you know what i'm saying it's against righteousness man it is completely adverse to the ways of y'all by shim you man all right it says and uh, and then, and then when you have a cup, right? A cup is what uh, um, used for what drinking. So it, 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 people have drunken, you know, what I'm saying the uh, the, uh, 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 the filthiness, filthy ideas and morale, morality and morals, uh, and ideologies of this place, America the Great, man. It says, and upon her forehead was a name written, ba Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, man. So why is it known as the uh, the mother of harlots? Like I said, because it it pushes. When you look at all the previous empires, man, it, it embodies all those previous empires into one. It was to be likened to the mother. You know what I'm saying? It says, and I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai. Right, because from America's inception, it's been killing our people left to right, even to this very day, man. All right, and the martyrs represent what the uh, the witnesses basically, man. Cause when we, but when you look at the actual definition of a martyr, somebody that that uh, that pretty much would die or, or suffer severe pain for, for their beliefs, when you go into that word right there in the blue letter, it's going to say witnesses, man. All right, so it says, and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai, all right, it says, and when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration, right, and the and the. Uh, 
and the angel said unto me, Wherefore does thou marvel? I will tell you the mystery of the woman. It says, and, and of the beast that carrieth her. Now, this is something I wanted to get into. Because when you go into that word, um, matter of fact, let me, let me hit these points real quick. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Give me one second, man. Um, okay, here we go. I was a little too far up. Just want to break these down real quick. So as you can see, that word martyr, mar martyr, mar mar martyrs, is going to say witness, man. All right. It says, uh, one who is a, is a spectator of anything, i.e., for example, of a contest in the ethical sense, those who, uh, after his example, have uh, proved the strength of genuineness of their faith and Mashiach by undergoing this, a violent death. But it says a witness, man. We are the witnesses. Uh, to this man's crimes that he's been doing, man. And we're testifying against him, man. And now, like I said, when you go back, when you look at that word, uh, damn, what did I want to look up, man? Oh, yeah, here we go. Carrieth, all right? So when you look at that word, carry, carry it, it's going to say G, G941, all right? Strong's G941, Bastazzo. 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 It's going to say declare, sustain, receive. All right. It says to uh, it says to take up in order to carry or bear, to put up, put upon oneself something, to be carried, to bear what is burdensome. All right. Uh, to carry on one's person, to sustain, i.e. uphold, support. So when it says the, the whore bringing it back, it says, and the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman. All right. That it says, and of the beast, NATO and the EU. It says that carrier that supports, that sustains her. All right. Which have the seven heads and ten horns. All right. And, and brothers know seven heads and ten horns. Germanium major, Germanium minor, the Spanish, the French, the Brit. Germanium major, Germanium minor, the Spanish, the French, the British. All right. Um, which ones I did not name. All right. Um, damn, I, I, I forget the other two. Uh, Germania Major, Germania Minor, the Spanish, the French, the British. All right, Rome, and then the Greeks, man. All right, there you go. So that those are the seven heads, and then the you know the ten horns. You know what I'm saying? You should know, you know, the Vista Gods, the uh, the Sueve. You know what I'm saying? And then when you keep going, uh, keep going uh, down the line. All right. Let me see. I know I have it written down somewhere, man. <sighs> One second. Like I said, just wanted to make sure you know, I'm getting all this information down from bros. The ten horns. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, uh, the, uh, uh, Belgium, Denmark, France, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Greece, Spain, and Portugal, uh, England, and Ireland, West Germany. All right. And like I said, Spain and Portugal are considered one, and then England and Ireland are considered uh, one as well. So, right. And then under their ancient, that's their modern names. And then under their ancient names, uh, Bung uh, Burgundians, the, uh, her, her rule, her ruli. Franks, uh, alumni, all right, it says, uh, Sueve, Vistagots, Lumbers, uh, Vandals, uh, Anglo-Saxon, and Ostergross, man, Ostergross. Right, so, like I said, you, you know, definitely make sure you have that information. Um, so those are the ten horns, right? Now, going back to this point, I wanted to bring out some information. So when this says, um, and the beat and of the beast that carrieth her, I broke down the word carrieth means support or sustains her. So how does the reason why the woman rides the beast is because the beast is the one sustaining or supporting her. All right. Now I'm going to get this article. You can look it up for yourself. It says Kansas uh, reflector. All right. It says why why the United States needs NATO. Three things you three things to know. Right. Now, I'm going to jump through this article. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So, it says, um, 
It says NATO is the Western world's foremost defense organization. It is headquartered in Brussels. It says the central idea behind NATO's existence, as explained in Article 5 of NATO's 1949 treaty, is that all all NATO countries agree to defend any other NATO country in case of an attack, right? And as the main uh, uh, um, adversary or the main... uh, uh, yeah, that main adversary that they was combating was uh, 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 Russia, you know what I'm saying, at that time. That's the pretty much the reason why it was created, right? So it says NATO has NATO has no standing, ar- standing army and relies on member countries to volunteer their military forces to carry out any operation. So all NATO countries agree to spend 2%, 2% of their annual gross domestic uh, product, which is, which is their GD- GDP, on military defense in order to support NATO, right? So, look, this is the thing. It says NATO has no standing army, right? It relies on member countries to volunteer their military force to carry out any operation. That includes going to war or if an attack is being waged on any of the NATO states or NATO countries. So, with that being said, right, it, it, I'm going to... The, the point is going to break it down. So, when you jump down, just for the, just for the sake of time, when you, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say, I was going to, I'm not going to read, read the whole thing, but I'm going to jump down, right? So, it says, uh, this is Revelation 17 and 11. It says, and the beast that was and is not, even he is of the age. The beast that was and is not is America. It says, even he is of the age, right? And the eighth is, right, America. It says, and is, and is of the seven. The reason why it is, is it is the eighth. And it's of the seven because when you look at the set those seven heads, you know what I'm saying? America stems from pretty much that last uh seventh head that came that was uh, uh that last head that was of the seven. So you pretty much can look at it like Britain, Great Britain or British, the British Empire, Great Britain was pretty much the last out of the seven heads, right? So if it's if it's of the eighth and then it, it says and it's of the seventh. That mean, in order, if America is the eighth and then it came out of the seventh, like I said, just look through history. And this is what I was trying to explain to the dude, that nigga that was out there well, when vocab came on us, man. Because he answered my question. I said, basically, like, yeah, what was the previous empire that came before America or something? I can't remember my exact question, but he said he got the right, he gave the right answer. I remember that because he said Britain. And this is the breakdown, man. All right. Because the Lord is going to return to a kingdom or an empire. All right. Right. So what empire will he be returning in? Because it tells you it's going to it's going to I'm going to further go into it. So it says verse 12, it says, and the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have no which have received no kingdom as yet. Right. Why didn't they receive no kingdom as yet? Because they ultimately are not in rulership. Those vassal states uh, under NATO. All right, or under America, if you will, they don't have. Uh, 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 they're not calling the shots, man. They're pretty much in allegiance or alliance to form this B system to help promote and push the uh, the ways and uh, America's uh, 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 um, uh, 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 um, agenda. They're not pushing their own agenda because they are in conflict with another with one another. But the whole reason why they got they came together, which is uh, some of the, uh, the history, the history. I was going through in that article is mainly um, for defense purposes, man. So if one get one, because they're smaller countries, man, with, with smaller defense budgets, all right, and uh, with, with lesser uh, artillery, man, all right. So they form together to pretty much create su- a superpower, man. So if one person get attacked, the other one has to help them. That has been happening throughout the course of history, man. Even with a lot of the uh, the Greek empires and and uh, you go to a lot of these. Uh, historical uh, 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 treaties, you know what I'm saying, even in the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, they had to band together, you know what I'm saying, to overtake uh, these uh, a king or a kingdom. So it's no difference, you know what I'm saying. So, it says, uh, and the ten kings which thou saws are ten kings, and the ten horns which thou saws are ten kings, so the horns represents kings, all right, which is today, uh, these, these, these countries, you know what I'm saying, it says, which have received no kingdom as yet. I already broke that down because they're not truly in rulership. They're forwarding. They came together to forward the uh, agenda of America, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. Right. So they're ultimately they have received some type of power because what you know what I'm saying? They're carrying, uh, you know, they, they have power, but it's not it's not uh, by themselves. 
it, it, it's pretty much uh, power uh, collectively. So now, going back through it, so this is this is another way to prove that America, uh, the America is the woman that sits on top, and uh, the beast is that that carries her is supporting her. So it says NATO gives the U.S. reliable allies. Militarily and economically, the U.S. is a, a hugely formidable power. It has the low, it has the largest nuclear arsenal on Earth and continues to be the largest economy in the world. Yet, without its allies in Asia and above, it says, and above all, without it says of those in Europe, the U.S. would be a much a diminished superpower. It, it, see, it's breaking it down. It says the U.S. will be a much. It says, uh, yet without its allies in Asia and above all, without those in Europe, the the European Union, it is, and the U.S. would be a much diminished superpower, right? So it came together. That's why I say it carrieth her. It's supporting her. It's sustaining her. The, it's sustaining who the woman, America. America really wouldn't be shit without those uh, f- uh, formidable allies that they're uh, in allegiance with. NATO, NATO provides the U.S. with a leadership position. And, man, this, c- come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> It says NATO provides the U.S. with a leadership position. It says in one of the strongest military alliance uh, networks in the world, this leadership goes well beyond the security realm. It has prof- profound and, and, and very position and very uh, positive political and economic ripple effects. For instance, most Western countries purchase their arms and military equipment from the U.S. Russia counts. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. I'm not about to... <laughs> You know, you can you can read more of this on your own. I'm just getting it for, you know, the sake of edification and for the video. But I read through this article and, um, you know, it, it backs up the scriptures, man. And it also says, it says, number two, NATO provides peace and stability. It says NATO provides a blanket of protection and mutual security for all its members, helping explain why the vast majority of countries in Central and, Euro- and Eastern Europe a, cl- a clamor to join the NATO after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991, man. It says, uh, reason number three, NATO hel- NATO has helped the U.S. get stronger. The, the Soviet Union's military alliance called the Warsaw Pact, all right, that, that was the Soviet Union military alliance. It was, uh, it was called the Warsaw Pact, required the USSR and its satellite, satellite states in Central and Eastern Europe including uh, East Germany, Poland, Hungary, and to join NATO. It says, on the other hand, it is a voluntary military alliance and countries must go through blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah, that's the point, man. They help the U.S. have a stronger military alliance. And it, it says provides uh, peace and stability by by uh, pretty much pr- protecting them and having security for their members, man. But most importantly, it's the alliances, man. It Like, that's the, that's the whole thing, man. So... Now you should understand why when it says uh when it says and then what the uh where's the set of that the seven uh, the seventh verse which says of uh, the beast that carrieth her you should now you should have a better understanding on why the beast carries the woman and I said that word carries support or sustains man all right so um it says verse fourteen it says these shall make war with the lamb and the lamb shall overcome them. Right, the Lamb is who Yahweh shot, and this is to see. Look, this is where we're gonna get at too. And if I was asked a question, so when it says these shall make war with the Lamb, who are the these then? You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, if you don't, you know, if you call yourself knowing the scriptures, because this is prophetic, man. The Lord is make is gonna make His second coming because it's giving you the breakdown. The Lord, it says, these shall make war with the Lamb. The Lamb is is Yahweh shot, who the word only calls Jesus. The these are those those conglomerate Edomite. From primarily Edomite nations that that are joined together on the NATO and the EU, man, you know what I'm saying? And in America, uh, uh, all those uh, conglomerate Edomite, predominantly Edomite nations will will fight the Lord in the second coming. It says the Lamb shall overcome them, right? Because and this will take place. This World War Three is will be the uh, will, will be where the Lord returns in. It says she is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and they that are with them are called and chosen and faithful. It says, and he said unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore city are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. That breaks down the first verse about what the uh, the waters were. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Come on, man. I, I don't know why it does that, man. But it says, uh, 
And the ten horns which I saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Right? Because ultimately, those uh, European unions, the ten, the ten, to the ten horns, all right, which are the ten kings, which now it started off with. As some people say ten, but you know, majority uh, information you come across, NATO started with uh, twelve member states. Now it's up to thirty-two. All right, majority of those. Uh, 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 those uh not majority but those 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 uh, uh members all right that the horns all right will turn on uh will turn on the uh on the beast all right on the on the whore so it says in the ten horns thou saw upon the beast these shall hate the whore right and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her fire because ultimately they're going some of those uh member states all right are going to shoot fire nuclear fire on uh 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 on uh or missiles on uh um on the whore which is america for yahweh have put in their hearts their minds to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of yahweh shall be fulfilled and the woman uh, which thou sawest is that great city america which ran over the kings of the earth man right because who's in power i ask you that who's the superpower that would be another question man so Ultimately, man, that Lord willing is edifying that answer, and this this shows you right here. This pretty much, this is the only chapter damn near you need. There's other chapters I could have went into that show you that America, uh, is in the Bible. But this, you you can prove that with this right here, man. And I had a, uh, I had another article too, man. I was gonna get into. Let me see. Yeah, but I'm not gonna read it, man. You can read this on your own. Here's why. Uh, here's why the United Nation, United States, needs NATO. And like I said, you can go through this, man. It's a quick read, and uh, they say it goes through. You know what I'm saying? It tells you that it, it, it pretty much uh, provides more troops and stuff like that, man. And it helps with the military aid and the money. So yeah, man. Um, yeah, with that I'm saying, shout out one.